How's it going, beer runners? Today we're gonna to be going over something that took me way too long to figure out. It was actually my coach who showed me that I had the ability to do this, and that is how to create a custom workout in the Garmin Connect app, and then send it over to your watch so that you can use it out on the run. Cheers, beer runners. Thanks for joining for today's video. You may have noticed a change of scenery for the video today, and that is because I am visiting my family in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania for the holidays. Also, I hope the audio quality comes across okay. I'm having to record on a borrowed iPhone because I realized I normally record on my Samsung and have my microphone hooked up to this, but I need the Samsung to demonstrate the Garmin Connect app. But let's just jump right into the video. I'm hoping we can keep this nice and quick. I just wanna walk through how you can create a custom workout on the Garmin Connect app. Cause like I said, I was running for years with a Garmin watch before I realized that it had this capability and it has been a game changer since I learned how to do it. So we'll just run through it real quickly. I'm gonna share my screen with you and just walk through the quick steps on how to create a customized workout. So you can see I have the Garmin Connect app right here. Obviously you have to log in, have an account. Right now I have Bluetooth turned off, so let me just turn that back on. So it's important that you have your watch paired to this device already. You have your account set up, etc. But basically what you can do, you can see all your stats. You should be familiar, I'm assuming, with the Garmin Connect app. Obviously you have all of your health stats and things like that. So I'm not gonna walk through all the features of the app. I just wanna focus on the creation of the workout itself. So from the main screen, you're just gonna go to the menu. Again, this is on Android, so it may look a little bit different on the iPhone, but the steps should be relatively identical. And once you're in the menu, you're just gonna click on this training option and workouts. So you can see I have a bunch of workouts that I've already created on here. And the first thing that you'll notice is I've named my workouts after the days of the week. I started by coming up with names for the workouts based on what they were, 400 meter repeats, 100 meter repeats, uh, steady state run, etc. But I just, the list just got so, so long that I decided to simplify it. My coach sends me my training plan for the week. I take that email, I go in and I just program the workouts for those weeks and then send it for those days and then send it to my watch. To create a workout, you just click this create a workout option. We're gonna create a run. You can see the standard layout is gonna have the warm up and cool down and then one standard step, which is just run one mile wedged in between. So you can manipulate all of these fields. So we'll start with something simple. Let's say you wanna do something like 400 meter repeats. So what I'm actually gonna do is delete this run and add a repeat. And you can see when you add a repeat, it automatically adds a running portion of the repeat as well as a rest portion. I'm gonna click and drag this in between the warm up and the cool down. And let's say we're doing 400 meter repeats. So I'm gonna click on the run. You can see you have a bunch of different things that you can manipulate what the step type is. If you want it to be a warm up, run, recover, rest, cool down, or other. If you wanna add any notes to the step, you can do that there. Duration type, we're gonna leave it as distance because again, we're doing 400 meter repeats, but you can do it if you were doing 30 minute repeats, you could do it by time. Um, you can do it by lap button press. So that's always what I leave warm up and cool down as. That just means whenever you're ready, so if I'm running a warm up, whenever I'm ready to start the workout, I'll just click the lap button on my watch and it automatically shifts me to the next portion of the workout. I like having the custom option for the warm up and the cool down so that the workout doesn't start automatically after, let's say I warm up for a mile immediately when the mile finishes, it goes into the next step. I like being able to do my warm up, do some stretches, and then when I'm ready, click the lap button to head into the actual workout itself. But like I said, we're gonna do distance this time, and then we'll set the distance to meters. Oop. Actually, we'll do kilometers is a little bit easier, and we're just gonna set that to zero. We'll set this to 40. That's just a little bit easier than scrolling to 400 meters, as you can see. I wish that was a little bit simpler, but unfortunately it's not. But there we go, 0.4 kilometers, so 400 meters programmed in there. Go back, you can see it's adjusted on there. Then you can set your recovery time. So again, if it's based on time, let's say you get three minute recovery in between, or let's say it's distance, kilometers, and let's say you just wanted 200 meters to rest, so we'll do the 0.2 kilometers, boom. And we're gonna do that repeat 10 times. So right now we have the warm up. Once you're finished with the warm up, you push the lap button on your watch, it shifts into the workout, and the watch is gonna prompt you 
run 400 meters. And then as soon as you finish that, your watch is gonna make a noise, vibrate and say, okay, now you get to recover for 200 meters. And it'll tell you on your watch as well, which repeat you're on. So we're doing this 10 times. It'll say you're on repeat one out of 10, two out of 10, three out of 10, et cetera, and count you through. And then as soon as you finish that last repeat, that last recovery interval, it's gonna shift cool down until lap press. You'll get that prompt and then you can just run your cool down. And again, I never push the lap button to finish the cool down portion. I just stop the workout. Just to mention as well, so I run with the Garmin 4Runner 935, um, but most Garmin watches should be compatible to be able to send these workouts. Once you're finished with all the steps, you just go ahead and click save. We'll just leave it as the default run workout and then you can see it saves it to the top of your list. And then all you have to do is click on run workout and you have this little icon at the top to save it to your phone and then it tells, or to save it to your watch and then you get that prompt, time to get running, the workout will be available when it syncs. The last thing that I always do is just go back to the home screen and make sure that the watch itself, you can see at the top is syncing. And as soon as that dial fills all the way up, you know that the workout's been sent to your phone. So there you go. It's as easy as that. Like I said, I just go through and schedule my weekly workouts. That's the simplest process for me personally. Um, but whatever system works for you, if you have a popular workout that you run, you can just save that as a default so that you can go in whenever you'd like. As I mentioned, I just have the days of the week saved and then I go in and edit them as needed. So it's again, extremely easy. Let's say I'm saving a workout for Monday. I can just click on here. The last time I had a Monday workout was very easy, but you can edit workout and then you can go in, same thing, manipulate it as needed. You can also get a little bit more complex. So I think one of the more complicated runs that I do, I'll show you on here, is where my coach will have me do a long run, but then wedged in the middle of the long run, I'll do some repeats mixed in. So let's say I wanted to do something like that. What I would do is, same thing, keep the warm up and the cool down. I would add a run oops, at the beginning and the end, and I'm gonna make both of these by lap button press. So that gives me the freedom to decide when I wanna begin the repeats at any portion of the run. I'm just doing a long run and then at some point in the middle, I'm gonna be able to decide, okay, I'm ready to start those repeats. And to do that, I would just add a repeat, wedge it in between these two runs. And let's just say we're gonna do five repeats and we're gonna do, uh, let's say they're tempo runs based on time. So we'll switch this to time and let's say I'm gonna do seven minutes on, three minutes off, just leave it like that, perfect. And then what I can do is I go do my warm up. I start my run and let's say I'm three miles into my 10 mile run and I say, you know what, I'm ready to start those repeats. I can just click the lap button press to go into the repeat portion of the run. The nice thing also is, so again, just to save it, and then that was Mondays, and then I'll share it to my phone or to my watch. Now it's on the watch. The nice thing is, is if you're ever confused or wanna double check what the steps of your run are, you can access it on your watch. You can click start workout just like you normally would on the 4 runner 935. Click what you would do to start a run. Then there is a button for me that I hold down that takes me into the run details. From that menu screen, there's a training option where you can view your workouts and it will give me a list of the runs that I have shared from the app to my watch. And again, each week I populate all the runs to my watch and then at the end of the week I delete them and then re-upload the new workouts. But if you ever forget what your workout is, obviously you could go in and check it on the app, but you can also go into that menu screen on your watch, find the workout that you're looking for, and once you click on it, so right now I'm in that Monday one that we just created, you'll see the option to run the workout or you can view the steps and scroll through and it'll tell you step by step what you have to look forward to. So again, pretty simple process, but it took me forever to figure that out on my own. But since then, I basically program all of my workouts. I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. But it is a very simple way to program some of those more complex workouts into your watch. So you have to do less thinking on the run and just focus on the running itself. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already. And and I will see you next time. Cheers.